In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a tutorial of the InShot Video Editor app. I'll be covering all the basics so that way when you finish this video, you can get started editing right away. Now on this channel, I show you how to make videos on your smartphone so you can grow an audience, help others, and make money doing what you love. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and let's jump in to this tutorial. Now I'll be doing this tutorial from my iPad, but don't worry Android users or iPhone users, it's going to be the exact same thing for like 99% of it. I'll show you where iOS is different from Android. Uh, but we're going to jump right into this, plus I can have a mouse hooked up so you can see exactly where I'm clicking and be able to easily understand this. Uh, so to start, what we're going to do is click on video. We're going to allow access to our photos. Uh, and what we can do is actually I'm going to go to an album and I'm going to go to video editing because this is where I've got all my footage that I want to add. So to add footage, you just click on it and it'll check mark it. You could also click the scissors and trim it before you import it, but I'll show you guys that a little later. Uh, so I've got it all selected. I can then click the check mark and it's going to add it into our timeline. Uh, and I can actually use my finger and I can scroll through the timeline and look at all the footage that's added. If we wanted to add more clips, uh, all we have to do is go over to this plus button and click on that add video slash photo, and we're back into our photo gallery and we can add more photos and videos if we need to. But I don't need to right now, so I can click the X button, and there we go. And if you want to zoom out or zoom in, you can actually just pinch to zoom, which I'm going to do because then I got a better view of all my clips in my timeline. If you want to rearrange your video clips, all you got to do is select it and hold down your finger. And what that's going to allow you to do is it'll zoom out like this, and you can just grab the clip and slide it around wherever you want it. So I can place it here, I can move this one right here, over here, etc. Then when I'm done, I can just click, and all my clips have been rearranged to where I want them. If you want to trim your clip, all you have to do is click on your video, and you can grab either side of it and just trim it with your finger like so. Uh, otherwise, what I like to do is line it up right where I want it to split, I'll click the split button here, which will cut it in half. So it's going to make two separate video clips. And then I can just delete the part that I don't want. Now, if I actually made a mistake and I want to reverse it, I can scroll over here and click this back button here. And it'll actually reverse all the actions that I made. And I can just keep clicking back until I you know, correct the mistake I might have made. Uh, currently, this is only a feature on Apple devices, on iOS. It's not for Android yet. Uh, as of the recording of this video, um, but that's just something to note. If you're on an iPhone, you have access to a back button. If you want to crop in in your video, you can just click on it, click crop, uh, and actually in here, uh, you have some options. We can click 16 by 9, which is the YouTube standard, or if we want to crop it to a TikTok video or an Instagram video, we could do that as well. Uh, I'm just going to choose 16 by 9 and then I'm going to use my fingers and I can just zoom in and be able to crop my video however I want. I can move it around like so, center it. I can click the check mark and there we go. We are all cropped in. All right, so now let's cover these features here on the bottom. If we click on Canvas, what Canvas is going to do, you can crop into a video and change it to 16 by 9 like YouTube or 9 by 16 like TikTok, but Canvas is where you change the entire project into what you want. So if we want the entire project to be 9 by 16 for TikTok, this is where we change it. Or if we want the entire project to be in YouTube standard, we can click it here. Uh, you also have access to some zoom features, and also you can change the background. Uh, for example, if you were to do like a TikTok video, and you want the background to just be a fun color of sorts, you can change that all right here. Uh, we're just going to do no color and go back to the YouTube uh, standard because that's what we want to go with. Next on the bottom here is music. So if you want to add music, you can click there. You could record a voiceover, add sound effects, or you even can click on tracks. You can add your own, uh, either extracted audio from video, or they actually have some songs in here that you can actually use within your projects. Uh, for now, I'm not going to add music, so I'm just going to click off the screen, click check mark, and there we go. 
if you want to add stickers to your uh, video, you can click there. They actually have some preset stickers that you can select. Uh, otherwise, if you want to add a photo, you can click here and choose a photo from your camera roll and import it in. So let's do that real quick. I'll choose this Instagram one. I can resize it. I can move this photo around anywhere I want, etc. Um, or I can just delete it by clicking there. If you want to add text to your video, just click the text button and then you can type your text in. Once you've typed your text, you can actually grab the text, just move it anywhere you want. Uh, and then you can actually adjust it by clicking edit and you can go in here, you can change the color, you can change the font that you have, the colors here, add borders, shadows, and even add some animations to your text to have the text fade in, fade out, slide onto the screen, uh, etc. Uh, you also have these features here for photos as well. I didn't mention that, but you can actually edit your photos so the photos slide onto the screen, slide off, uh, etc. Uh, but for now, we're just going to click off. We'll click check. There we go. If we want to add filters and do some color grading to our footage, we can click on the filter button. We can click, we'll just click filter right now, and you can actually go through and select whatever filter you want, whatever you think looks nice for your videos. Uh, and then if you want, you can actually grab this bar here and adjust how much of that effect is applied, which I'm not really liking any of these. So we're just going to stick with the original. And then what we can do is go over to adjust and we can even control even more. So we can control the brightness, the contrast, we can control the warmth, the saturation, you know, you can just go through all these settings and be able to really edit your footage and make it look really professional and nice. So we can click the check mark. There we go. All set up. We then also have this PIP button, which is picture in picture, but it should actually be called video in video because that's really what it does. If we click on this, we can actually add a video over the top of our other video. And this is super cool because you could have a game going on, like if you were a gaming channel or a reaction channel, you can have that going on and you could have your reaction video off to the side there where you're reacting to the content. So that's a really cool feature that you can have here. Uh, so we could put that on the side and do something like that. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna click the X button on that and click check. And then the rest of the features down here are pretty self-explanatory. You know, volume is volume, speed is speed, uh, you know, rotate, flip, uh, do rewind effects, you know, etc. cetera. Uh, and then last but not least, we have an important part here. You'll see there's that in-shot uh, watermark in the corner. If you actually click X here, you have the choice to remove it permanently for $2.99, or a lot of times they'll let you just remove it for free. So if you just click that, remove this once, now that you don't have a watermark on your video, woohoo! Uh, and then what we can do is go to export. We can choose our resolution and our frame rate and save it right to our camera roll. And then we can export it out to YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or whatever. Now, if you're wanting to do some more advanced editing tricks within InShot, like adding a subscribe button, adding your social media handles for people to see on screen, etc., I actually have a video up here that you can click on and take a look at all those advanced features if you really want to up your video editing game and do more than the basics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys hopefully over here. See ya.